This week on the RC Shop, we take a look at a few tricks to get more flex out of the Marlin Crawler. What I want to go over this week is four simple and free tricks to get more flex out of your TF2. Keep in mind, this is a leaf sprung truck and will never flex as much as a Lynx truck. And quite honestly, that's not the point of a trail finder. It's really meant to be scale. And a bit of the charm of this truck is the fact that it does crawl like a brick. With that said, there are a few tricks you can do to get more flex out of the trail finder. So let's get this chassis up on the lift and get to work. Trick number one, let's start with the shocks. Pull the top caps off and remove the internal springs. This will instantly give you more flex and let the Leafs do the work. Make sure and do this on all four corners. For the next two tricks, we're gonna work on the leaf packs. Start by removing the four springs that retain the axles and then the four leaf spring retaining bolts. Now that you have the leaf pack separated, trick number two is a simple one. Just ditch those smaller helper springs. You could run a single spring only, just one spring without any helper spring. I find that a bit mushy, uh, but you know, experiment for yourself. For trick number three, we're gonna chino the leaf springs. And what that means is we're gonna take the ends of the springs and shave them down on an angle. Now with the ends of those springs on an angle, when they sit in the retainer, they'll give them just a little bit of room to allow a little bit more flex. It's not gonna do a lot, but it'll help a bit. When grinding the springs, take your time. Don't remove too much material. Always keep in mind, it's easy to remove material. It's much harder to add material back. Here's how they should look when they're done. So I'm just gonna clean them up, add a little paint, and give them a finished look. Do this for all four corners, and when you're done, each axle should have two extra leaf springs and two extra coil springs. So let's get back to the lift, put everything back together, and see how we did. The Flex is a bit better for the sum cost of zero dollars. So you're not gonna get huge improvements, but for no money, it's worth it. Now you can see, it'll never equal the Flex of a four link setup. But again, that's not the point of a trail finder. Now you're probably saying, hold on a second, Tandem. You said there were four tricks, and there are. And here's the fourth one, and it's the best. Get that truck out on the trail and start using it. Break in those springs. 
So you can't, you're gonna get your best results just by using those springs and getting them worn in. And the more you use it, the more flex you're gonna get and the happier you're gonna be. Hey guys, don't forget to send your fan ride pics to the email address down in the description. Um, and also I got some uh, scale bumper stickers in also. So if you'd like a couple of those, also shoot me an address to send them to and I'll get a couple out to you. And I thank you for joining me this week. week. And as always guys, hit the like button below. Uh, leave any comment that you want, good, bad, otherwise. I always, hearing, I always like hearing what you guys have to say. And if you'd like to kill, keep up with this series, uh, hit the subscription button. And of course hit that notification too. Um, YouTube's putting big pressure on those, those stupid notification buttons. So if you would hit it, help me out. And thanks for joining me this week. I'll see you next time.